Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, sadly, Kronos is no more. Our Ronin died to a series of unfortunate events, all of which caused by my terrible play. But unfortunately the group, they just couldn't they just couldn't hold together. They didn't have the, uh, the, the sustain to get through the curve. Unfortunately, to our last foe, Kronos is no more. But anyways, we have new people joining. We have new mods. So let's get right into the estate. Here we are in the cursed estate. The town, the hamlet, everyone's feeling pretty down right now. The first death is one that even though people didn't really know Kronos too well, everyone feels bad about. And especially Vendelius, Jonathan and Sophia are particularly feeling the effects hard. They they didn't know him too well, but it was their first time adventuring as well, and they went out with him and they couldn't they couldn't quite keep him alive. And it's it's unfortunate, it really is. But we do have a new a new um arrival in our seraph, Angela. Now this is a backstory written by DB Fan. Angela is a devout follower of the light. Despite being considered the human vessel of light currently, she started off in humble beginnings as a simple vestal. With hair of gold and a good heart, many had befriended her and enjoyed her presence, but one man started to get a bit too flirty. So she rebooked his actions, causing him to furiously declare that she was a witch and using spells and trickery to get others to like her. What she didn't know was this man was high up in the church, so despite some doubts, they trusted his word and burned her at the stake. Despite the flames consuming her, Angela could do nothing but mutter the same prayer over and over again until the fire exploded and spread to the pre priest who accused her of being a witch. He didn't even have the time to spit out curses before he burned. The fire dissipating quickly after leaving Angela's burnt and frail but still living figure kneeling on the ground. The town couldn't help but bow at what was certainly an act of the light. Angela smiling as her faith was not only reinforced but she committed herself entirely to the light. Special hardy armor was made for her to defend her now frail body as she wanted to be a shield to defend true believers and inspire them. In her mind, warped from religious dogmatism, those who don't believe in the light are just as bad as heretics. But when hearing of the Hamlet's overwhelming occult nature and evil presence, she decided to destroy the evil in the Hamlet, even if it means working with non-believers. For now. Another brilliant story. Really, really, really love the... Um, tying in of the, the the worship of the light that's going to really work with some of the other people we were going on here um and we have extra damage versus stunned we have hell beast hater which is going to be extra damage against beast and eldritch she has the fear of unholy and she is going to be um eating a lot of food uh we'll eat anything to saturate the hunger meaning i think if we run out of food she's going to start eating other things uh which isn't great but we will see how she uh, she performs. Seraph is a great class. Definitely looking forward to uh, to playing around with her a little bit. And we do have some diary entries from a few of the people in the town after the death of Kronos. The first one coming from Sophia, our apostate, who was out with Kronos on that fateful day. And this was written by Sofrul. Just before they could deliver the killing blow, I heard him murmur to himself, Yatsu, please forgive me for I have failed you. I remember when we used to sit by the lanterns. The gold sunset would cover us while we told stories to each other. If only I could just lay my eyes on you one more time. It was very saddening, but I can't feel, I can't but feel my, uh, my lack of help led to this. I hope the light cradles him in its arms. And that's just Sophia trying to, trying to feel a little better about it by turning to her faith another great bit of a uh, bit of backstory there and we've got we've got a few more backstories coming here a few more diary entries we've got a lot today because the death of our first person it is gonna it is gonna impact the uh, the hamlet quite heavily and everyone's got something to say dismas said uh, that me and ryan uh, this is by uh, unstable strafe by the way me and ryan uh, that is our um our occultist and if you remember dismas's and our Occultus's backstory, the intertwine. Um, one ha uh, was on a lonely road, just trying to look out for some money, and killed a family in a cart. The other missed his family because they were killed in a cart. So these two went out together, not knowing of their previous history. Me and Ryan went into the curve to hopefully recover Cronus's body. 
There weren't too many creatures, so we decided to talk while we explored. Ryan told me about how his family was murdered in a carriage on their way home, and I told him about my greatest sin. For a few moments, you could hear the wind in the caves as the realisation set in. We didn't talk much after that, and some of the beasts prevented us from going much further. I'm going to see how strong a brew they have in that tavern. It's terrible. Terrible. And then Trell, our revenant, again from Unstable Strafe, says, Not many people showed up to Coronis' funeral. Just me, um, Ronald, and Dismas. Ryan and the team that went on that fearful mission, as we, as a few priests, as well as a few priests, um, Dismas and Ryan tried to recover the body from the curve, but had to turn back, least they share the simil a similar fate. Something else is troubling those two, though. So even Trell's picking up on, on what's going on between those two. So that could be uh, that could be pretty bad for those. I imagine these guys will not want to party up, especially with him having the plague. But yes, I imagine he will not want to be partying up with um, with Dismas for the duration here. But we've got a decent amount of money here. We're, we're actually going pretty strong. Um, we've got some good stuff going on here. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at what we're going to do for our first adventure today. Okay, so here we are, ready to go out on an adventure. We've got our party ready. This is a party suggestion given to me by Friendly Shep. This is just going to be a short exploration. We're going out with Eon, our cataphract, um, our arbalist, Aurora, our harlot, Red, and our burgeteer, Rune. We have used Rune and, um, and Aurora a decent amount already, but... They're experienced, they should help out the newbies a little more, especially Red, she's only been out on one other adventure before. And just before we jump in here, I do want to mention two things. Uh, we have one uh, new mod that is increasing our roster size by 30. I was very torn on whether to actually do this and whether or whether to just wait for upgrades, but having to spend less on upgrades means, considering we're not having as many episodes of this series as we are some of my others on my channel, progress should be a little faster. As well as another mod that's going to increase progress, we are now getting 1.5 times money from gems. Uh, and a few other sources which should hopefully speed up the amount of money we get mainly because we're going to be putting so many people in for stress healing and quirk removal and disease removal we're going to be spending 90 percent of our money on that because we can't just throw people away we we're tied to these people we've got to try and keep them alive keep them healthy keep them well and most of our money is going to end up going on that and it's going to mean we have no money for anything else so uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I did just do a few twitches around with these guys. This guy now has his shield throw on just in case. Um, he doesn't actually need it um, particularly, but we, we don't have a, a particular way to, uh, to deal stun here. But... Uh, we've got this shield just in case we get thrown to the back line by anything. Uh, I did a, a switch around here. We've got two skills available here, but I went with this one here. Um, so we've got our hands off for the knockback, activates repost, and get some bleed, as well as some extra damage versus marked. We have mark target, um, as well as minus 28% stress for everyone which is really nice for two rounds. Uh, we've got Heart of Gold here, which is going to lower the amount of damage that one of our enemies does, but it is going to give us stress healing for two rounds, as well as um, inspire an extra turn, which could be interesting. I'm not exactly sure the best way to use that, but I think we'll go with it. And we've also got Hold Me Close, Mac Target, Force Guard by Ally, Reduce Stress, reduces Dodge, but it does increase the amount of crits we deal and reduce the amount of crits we take, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, and then these other two I kept the same, apart from Trample, uh, or Onslaught as it's called in this character. It's going to be able to move on. Eon's going to strike from the back line and get a really big hit. So now let's uh, let's make sure these guys are trinketed up. So obviously you're going to want this. Um, you're going to get extra healing skill as well as extra ranged accuracy. That's going to be great for us off the bat. I think we're going to go with extra prot and extra health on you. That's always good. Um, you've got a very big health pool. 10 accuracy, 5 crit. Let's dodge. Uh, your dodge is already low. Um, your crit is that. that. Um, hmm. Interesting. Because what I could do... Yeah, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on instead, actually. Try that out. And go with go with this to try and get a few more crits out of this guy and see if that helps. Uh, we do have a lot less dodge, but we've got a very big HP pool, so I'm hoping that that works out. Uh, you can take the the um, slime jar for the ra for the random heals. That's always nice. Um, as well as we could go with extra melee skill and uh, a little bit of dodge loss. 
That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, let's go for a bit of more melee damage on you. It's actually going to improve your damage much. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't tell us fly out there. Um... That might not be worth it. I'm not sure. Uh, in fact, no. Let's let's go. Let's go the opposite of that, and let's go with um, the less move resist. But we're gonna. With this guy can move around a lot anyway. So let's go with the extra dodge, um, and then our harlot. I think we're gonna want a lot of dodge on her. Um, so let's let's stack up some dodge. In fact, yeah. Let's do this. Let's negate the let's negate the the dodge from this with this. Uh, get the less stress and get the accuracy bonus and that's gonna be pretty good for us We don't have anything else we can use on these guys I think that's gonna be a pretty good roundup to start us out here and let's let's go in. We've, we've got healing. This guy's got healing This guy's got healing and Aurora's got healing as well. We've got very very good healing here So we should be fine on healing uh, and let's let's see, let's see how these guys perform. Let's see how this works Let's hop in here. We're going into the um into the Warrens, uh, and we're going for the Stark Reminder. Again, we're going to try and do two adventures today. Um, I like doing these shorter ones just to gather up a little bit of money, get ourselves uh, a few bits and bobs. So we'll try and do two here today. So let's grab ourselves some food. Um, buy a little bit more of those, get three of those. Two of everything. Go with 12 torches, and that should be enough. Let's go and try this out. The Warrens can be a little dangerous. There is some very hearty enemies in here that are problematic, but we should be okay. Uh, I do believe we have a, a diary entry that we can go into here. Yeah. Um, Dismas again, this is from On Sable Strayf, says that Ruby ain't looking too good after that last mission. Bad news when some of the gun is broken down like that. Again, that's it's kind of touching on what we saw. Ruby unfortunately gained some negative quirks that really, really are going to impact her. So it's sad to see uh, that. And also, we have Trell. Again, from Unsable Strafe, um, saying, I was going to go out for a drink with that baker fellow, but when I saw him come back, I decided it's best left for another date. I know the look of ones who's been haunted by something. Great backstories there. I'm loving I'm loving the build-up of, of all these backstories so far. It's been really good. People have been doing a really great job of, of uh, filling in those uh, diary entries for the characters here. Getting a stun on him this early is really bad. Stun on a mark. Okay, we have pretty low speed in this group by the looks of things. Um, so let's... Let's just mark you. And yeah, we're all going to get a bit less stress, which is lovely. And we'll go for the mark, extra mark damage, which I believe you receive. Um, let's buff everyone. And this should hopefully reduce... Yeah, reduce the stress we're getting here, which is nice. Lovely to see that. We are taking more blight on you. I might even uh, go for a blight reduction there. Let's uh, let's try and take one of you out. Nice, got that heal there. Yeah, let's remove that blight because that's going to hurt. Um, we'll probably finish you off with a bit of bleed, yeah. And that even moves you back one as well, which is lovely to see. Uh, we've activated repost here. Let's get a heal on um, Red. I think Red would appreciate that muchly. And let's go for a strike on the front line here. The more crits we can get here, the better. But we'll have to see how this goes. Um, we're gonna give one that's give someone two turns. Let's try this out. Let's 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 do the kiss on you. And she should get two turns now, so we'll use one turn to heal. Hmm, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um. Yeah, I, I'd really... I'm not exactly sure how that works. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that. Oh, maybe that's why. She's got another turn there. Um, we'll just go for another hit on you. I should finish you off. Lovely. And let's just reduce some stress. While we can. Okay, marking us, but that should be fine. Should be able to get a few shots off here. I don't think we can hit him. Let's try and hit one of the bodies out the way. A crit there. I don't know if that's going to give us any stress healing. I don't think it did. Sadly. Activating repost here is brilliant. Even if it's only a one round repost. That's a good uh, good haul there. But you'll see these gems are now worth 563 as opposed to I think 400 they're worth normally. It's like a 1.5 times multiplier. So we should see a little bit more gold coming in here which would be lovely. Let's hope we don't come across anything too horrible here. Okay, stress dealers. We want to be getting that stress amount reduction early as possible. In, or we could just crit because 
Aurora is an absolute beast. Uh, take care of you. Oh, and another crit. Oh, my God. That is brilliant. Um, then we'll take the bleed on you as long as, as well as getting our post going. Smack you down another crit. My God. This group is fantastic. Very good party suggestion, Shep. Very good party suggestion indeed. Another crit. My God. The crits are coming in hot and heavy right now. And that group, dead before they could even know. We've, we even got a trinket there. Pig's feet. Uh, less disease resist. Less maximum HP, but nice speed boost. I can see that being useful on some people, but that does seem or like on the lower end of the very rare um, trinkets that we get from killing monsters. Not the best. We got a map there. That's great. Bit of scouting here. Maybe a secret room reveal. Sadly not. Let's reposition Eon back to the uh, back to the back of the crew. He is really really good from the back of the crew. There. We'll go straight for Eon on the stress dealer. Uh, we'll activate repose here yet again. I kind of want to just save the hold me close until we get a stun on someone. Uh, when we start getting stuns on people is when I'm gonna uh, is when I'm gonna start going for that. And yeah, we'll just finish you off. Make sure we don't take too much stress here. Um, yeah, let's just go for the strike. I was thinking of marking him and going for the extra damage, but I'd rather just go for the strike now. A little bit of damage on you. We are gonna take the mark there, but enemies ignore mark quite a lot. It seems we don't have to worry about that too much. And this guy can be a real pain. He can attach um, these little beasties to us that do uh, do extra damage, but I don't think he's done that that time round. We'll go for a heal on you. We don't need the damage particularly. Um, yeah, I want to know how this works. It's difficult to say. And then we'll just we'll just kiss. Give him the kiss. We've got a little bit of bleed on us here, but I really don't think that's problematic. Let's go for the party heal. Ooh, a big crit on ourselves there. Rune doing great stuff. Um, take you out and get the repose going. Okay. Nice dodge there, Eon. Nice dodge. Butcher's cut coming in. No, thank you. Strike on you. And cut you down. Not quite. Maybe this will finish you off. There you go. Beautiful. And we got yet another, yet another one. Um, extra scouting chance, extra trap disarm. I don't think we have any slots on anyone free, so we can't really take crazy advantage of that. But the scouting chance could be quite nice. Um, I don't think there's anyone I really want to go for that on the. Just open this up. Reorder our party, make sure everyone's correctly ordered. We've got a scout for one room ahead. 70%, 60%. Okay, let's just go for it on you, 70%. Get rid of it, that stress. We're dealing with stress really nicely here, which is always good. Um, Moonshine Barrel. I think this removes negative quirks. Ill is a pretty bad one. Um, exhausted. Minus five dodge after the first round. That's pretty bad. Um, minus 15 damage on the first round. I think we're going to go, in case it removes the uh, one, I'm not sure if it does, but she's only got one, and that's a pretty bad one, so let's remove it on her. Or it's just a damage buff. Wrong one. Wrong one. Unfortunate for me. Ooh, the Brigates. They took out... They took out our man Kronos, so we have a vengeance against these guys. We really, really want to kill these guys fast. We'll take out the back line because they can do the blanket fire. Although blanket fire does get kind of hard countered by repost. So if we could... Ooh, a crit there is lovely. Nice one, red. Um, if we get um, a blanket fire to activate repost there, that would actually do a pretty good job. We'll go with a party-wide heal again. Um, and we'll take you out yet again. Blanket fire is probably going to kill him there. Indeed it did. Lovely. Um, we'll just look to keep repost activated here keep people far away slice and dice eon of course gonna get that dodge there and we'll start going for some more healing here get a heal on you he um we gotta remember that uh our dude here rune has a such a big health pool that we don't particularly have to healing that much um you're gonna die aren't you to your bleed yeah you are so we'll, we'll t take a stab at you and we'll go for uh we'll go for another party wide heal if we can manage it uh, we have got bleed on both of these guys now, though, so it's unlikely. There you go. Nice. Only a small one, but it helps. Crit you for another stress heal. Stress healing has been br brilliant here. 
crit seem to give Eric's a bleed amount applied, which is great. Heal you up a little bit. We can probably put her around with you. We've been actually you're at such low health. I think you'll just die to the to the uh, bleed here. Don't think we can do much about this. I'll see if we can uh, we can keep you around for one more round. Yes. But there we go. We'll kill we'll we'll kill him now. Actually, no, we won't. We'll get another heal. Now we'll kill you. Great stuff. Managed to mess around with that guy for a little while. Get rid of them. We'll carry on. Get that. Let's have a little look at a hunger check here. Uh, I believe this is just loot, so we'll just take this normally. Yep, just a bit of loot. Uh, we do want to take those deeds, definitely, so we'll take it over that. We've got another trap coming up here. 70%. Nice one, Rune. You beautiful bastard. Well done, well done. Okay, we've almost, we've almost finished these rooms. Got one more room battle left, so it could be in either of these rooms. Okay, we do have some hallway battles. A lucky surprise there is going to help us out massively, though. Um, let's go force guard by ally on you. That's going to mark him for to take a bit of extra damage, but it's also going to buff his crits and take a negative on these guys. The so crits received, which is great. Try and take out the backline drummer. Um, yeah, we'll just keep swiping in the front line here. And Onslaught will probably kill you. Great stuff. That guard. A nice miss there. One thing about the uh, the guard is it does obviously directly um, counter her own repost, which isn't great. Uh, yeah, if, if anyone could tell me how to properly use Heart of Gold, that would be really nice. I don't know if I'm using it wrong or if I, if I use it correctly and just didn't notice. But we did not unfortunately receive a crit there, which is a good amount of um, stress. But I'll do a party-wide heal here. Give a stab on you. That bleed should kill you. Um, we can't do much here, so let's just go for a heal on you. Ooh, a crit. Lovely. Aurora is really coming into her own. You can tell she's she's learning the ways of dealing with the Hamlet and dealing with the Dankest Dungeon itself. Okay, we did unfortunately take a knockback there. Not particularly uh, bad for us. Getting a lot of bleed applied. Uh, let's just go for a party heal because this guy's going to die to bleed. And we can go for a heal on you as well. And even a little bit of a stress heal on you too. You should just die to bleed here. Oh, maybe not. We get another another turn. Very nice. We get yet another trinket here, which I definitely want. Accuracy turn sounds great. Um, what do we want to throw away here? We'll throw away our holy water. I should have just used it on one of our characters to get extra resistances. I do realize that now. I apologize. That's something I'm going to forget to do a lot. I always forget that Holy Water is actually good to use rather than just being a Curio Unlocker. Do we get another search here? Sadly, no secret rooms still. Go for the Disarm. Rune. Just great Disarming Traps today. Um, and I believe this is the one we're looking for to remove negative quirks. So let's do this here. There you go. Exhausted removed. That's great. Means she's not going to get a minus five to speed after the first round, which is just pretty bad, really. Okay, this is kind of a difficult one. Luckily, we got the surprise here, but these guys deal crits. These guys deal crits a lot. So let's uh, let's debuff their accuracy and debuff their crit chance. And then just try and take one out. Nice onslaught crit there from Eon. Well done. We'll go for the bleed on you. I think they resist bleed quite highly. Only 40% actually. It's not as high as I thought. Um, we'll just try and swipe you down though. But these two having minus accuracy and minus crit, especially the front one, is going to be huge for us. going to really help out. Uh, them, them crits that they deal can be very, very dangerous. And we really haven't taken too much stress at all here, which is great. We'll heal you up a little bit. I don't think Aurora needs to be doing too much damage from the back line. We'll try and take you out with a bit of extra bleed. We'll do a party-wide heal here again from uh, Rune. Looks feeding the group. Ooh, hoo -hoo. that repost with a bleed is beautiful. And I think both of these guys should be dead here. Uh, just in case, we'll throw that. Unfortunately, we missed, but yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Return to Hamlet with a very successful quest. And our heads held high. I'm very, very happy with how that went. Very, very happy indeed. That was a good amount of money there. Let's see how much we got. We got ourselves 8,000 collected treasure and 3,000 there. And a decent amount. 20 crests, 2 portraits. Six deeds. No busts, unfortunately. But that's pretty good haul. Let's see what we got for everyone here. Ineffective. Um, Blight and bleed chance. Um, 
is fine. We don't do either of those. Rager, that's really good. Um, Farsighted, that's also very fine for us because that's really not a problem. And Gentle, um, we don't have any move skills. So all in all, that worked out pretty well. Uh, can't really complain at all about that. Um, we have indeed stepped onto the first DLC, which again was gifted to me by DB Fan. So thank you so much. Our Shield Breaker. So we'll take a Shield Breaker on board here. And take a shield breaker on board. Uh, now, as before, I did normally do backstories middle of the episode. Just to make it easier for myself so that I can do more episodes. Backstories for new characters will just be done in the next episode. So we won't be playing those until they've get, got on their backstories. Uh, so we'll, we'll also take on... Um, ooh, we've, got a, we've got a lot of classes here, which are very interesting. Um, hmm. Got a lot of classes here, which I really like. So, we'll take on a Twilight Knight, um, a Jester, he will be laughing still. and I'm very tempted to take on an Assassin as well. Especially considering the Assassin's already level 1. Yeah, okay, we'll take on the Assassin as well. Four backstories coming up for next episode, so a lot to do there, but it's definitely worth it. So the, these characters, we will leave, pretend they're not here for today, uh, and we'll hop into our next adventure. We do have one other, uh, one other um, diary entry to go over at the end of the episode, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that as a little bit of a and send off to the episode. So let's go on and back. First of all, let's make sure we take off our trinkets from these guys. Well, she is looking very nice right now. Okay, good, good. And put all of these guys there. Right, so our next adventure, again, we're going to go for a, just a normal little old level one medium adventure. Um, sorry. Can we? Do we not have any um, short adventures? I don't think we have any short adventures. I think we might be able to squeeze a, a medium one in there. It's certainly possible. We'll, we'll see which one has uh, got an Aki like the Sun one there. That's pretty nice. These are uh, some bosses, though. We really don't want to be tackling these yet. Uh, privateer there is quite nice. Um, got a medium one in the curve here. Ooh, that could be very nice. Uh, let's, let's try this out, shall we? Let's try this out. So, I'm gonna take with us. Remember, the curve is, uh, weak to blight, not to bleed. So, we're gonna take Joseph Hare, our, um, alchemist. He's gonna be very useful. Um, let's put together a decent group here. Um... So we'll take that. We'll take Isaac. He's going to be able to do a nice amount of plaguing, which is lovely. Uh, good, good, good. We'll take Angela up front for a nice amount of damage. And who else shall we go with? Should we go with Hammurabi? Yeah, he's got self-heal, so that's going to be great. Uh, do, does he have his heal ability? He does. Okay. So, we should be able to provide enough healing here. Um, with this, as long as well as, uh, being able to remove corpses to heal. And let's try this out. Let's, uh, let's get everyone trinketed up yet again. So, let's have a little look-see. So, we want to be going on you. Um, you've got no dodge. So, let's just go with extra melee damage on you. Um, as well as we could just go with straight up extra crit, which could be quite nice. Um... So we'll go with that. We'll go with extra. We'll go with extra crit there. Uh, you can gain the extra accuracy because accuracy is a big thing for you, as well as the protection. Uh, that's going to be nice on you, Isaac. Do we have any? Yeah, blight skill chance. We'll go with that. Blight skill chance is going to be nice, um, as well as maybe even going with uh, going with scouting chance and trap disarm, which could be quite nice. Hmm, I'm thinking here actually. We might, we might want to, yeah. Let's let's go. Let's put the jar on you instead. Uh, let's put the protection and that that on you. And then what do we want on you? What do we want on you, Joseph? Joseph. We go with the accuracy less dodge. Let's just go with like really high dodge on you and we'll, uh, we'll go with this as well so we get the slightly less speed we also get the extra scouting chance um, and we do need to just check our camping skills as well um, prevents nighttime ambush that's exactly what we're looking for um, so that's all, that's all we need to know 
let's try this out, shall we? Um, let's hope this doesn't go as bad as our last adventure into the curve. I wasn't planning on doing a short and a medium here, but we have the time, I think. So let's get in and do this. So we'll take over 20 food, four shovels. We'll take 15 of those. And I will take two more of these just in case. And let's embark and see how this goes. We don't have a lot of movement skill here, which could be uh, could be problematic. Um, and I didn't actually, one thing I didn't check, which I really, really hope isn't the case. If, 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 if it's not the case, it's, it could be very problematic for us. I didn't, te didn't check if Joseph Hare can do everything from the position he's currently in. Um, the only one he can't do is this, whereas you... Okay, so let's swap these two around real quick. I really wish I hadn't I hadn't noticed that first, but this should be fine. Um, okay, so we've got some digging to do straight away, which is fine. We've only got one level zero here, Angela, who we just picked up recently. She should be fine, though. A little bit more stressed than normal, but I think for the most part she should be okay. As long as we don't get too much stuns going. Shocker there. Nice dodge, Isaac. Nice dodge. Um, so... Let's go for... Your stun resists on these are pretty high, so let's just go for... Let's just go for Blight. I don't think we have the, 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 the close range Blight here, which is a shame. Uh, but we can do this Blight here. Nice. And the, the cool thing about Joseph Hare, our alchemist, is as he uses skills, it buffs his healing. And his healing keeps getting better and better and better. Now... This is low accuracy base, but we do have increased accuracy. We want to be striking both of these. Again, this is low accuracy base. I'm going to go for it, though. Hammurabi. Ooh, another great dodge from Hammurabi there. Nice one. Unfortunately, to that one. That one can deal some diseases to us. Uh, we're going to take some bleed here. Not the end of the world. Uh, let's just keep stacking blight. Uh, we could indeed cure that bleed, but that's fine for now. Another good thing about this guy, he does indeed have the, uh, the ability to repost, so we'll do that. Activate repost on you, repost. As you guys know, is brilliant. So I think this is going to be a pretty good group, to be honest. Uh, as well as the fact that we have the ability to stun front two targets and cure bleed there as well. So, in fact, let's just cure bleed off ourselves right now. Gives us extra bleed resist. It does give us a debuff, though. Uh, mm, we actually got a relic here as well. Um, we got ourselves the uh, crumbling shell. Extra protection, less dodge. On hit, we receive less and less protection. Interesting. I like the idea of that. Could be useful. Let's torch up. Throw those away. I would, I would read all those notes, but it would make the episode so much longer. And sometimes it goes against the narrative and backstory we're trying to create. So, uh, so unfortunately, taking stress on you is really not good. Um, your blight resist is really low, so we should be able to get a good amount of blights on you. We really want to take out this guy early so we don't get the plague. Getting the plague would be very annoying. He is moving himself closer to the front, though, which is great. We'll go with um, the Blight. Yeah, let's go with the Blight on you. That should be enough Blight to take him out pretty soon. Uh, yeah, if we go with Hugh. Hey, lovely, lovely. The Blight wasn't necessary, but it's good to see him gone. Sadly, we're getting a guard here. We could maybe... Yeah, if we can stun you out of that guard, that'd be great. Ooh, damn. That was a mistake. Apparently, it adds six stress to everyone if you do that. We are uh, very stressed. I didn't realize that. Other heroes, plus one. Yeah. Okay, we don't want to be using that unless we absolutely have to. Uh, but that has stunned you out of that. Oh, right. You've blocked. I I, I did I did a stupid there. Um, let's go for a stun on you. There you go. That's going to stun you out of the block. Okay. Armor piercing. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm going to heal you for six. Lovely. Okay, that stress is really... Making me quite worried. I hope she doesn't take too much more. Okay, dodge. Nice one, Hammurabi. Great to see. Okay, you're dead. Oh, unfortunate miss there from Angela. Um, we do have stress reduction here, so that's not too bad. Nice one, Hammurabi. Nice hit. Build up some more of that. A nice crit there for stress reduction. Um... We should probably just, yeah, we should probably just go for this and cure the bleed off you and get you a bit healed a little bit. Okay. 
We should finish you off nicely. Well done. I'm really hoping we can get some stress healing off of a Curio somewhere soon. Nice amount of gems there. Let's carry on. But yeah, getting getting a bit of stress healing off a of Curio here would be very nice. Um, we need to get those deeds. We'll put away those bandages for now. We can deal without those. So we are going to take stress every round for a little bit here. It's only a small bit though. It's one stress. Um, let's go for the double on you two. It's lovely being able to set up the uh, the blight like that. And if we just go for a double blight on someone like that, seven blight for five rounds. That's enough to get a kill right there. I've got a stab on Hammurabi there. And we've got Barnacle Barrier. We can probably stun him out of that though. So that's not too big of a worry. Murby's taking damage right now. He's taking hits. Let's try and take you out. Um, let's do a self-heal. Critical. Beautiful. Really like to see that. Um, and I think if we do this again, we might be able to get a kill here. Oh, that was nice. Lighted the, uh, the the front guy as well because of the guard that he's put on. That was nice to see that. Uh, we'll probably take you out. There you go. Nice one, Angela. Nice one. We haven't been needing a heal too much here, which is great. We can clear all... Um, Clear all corpses in order to heal for maximum HP. I don't know if it's a party-wide heal or not. I'm going to try that now, actually. It's a party-wide heal, which is great to know. And it also debuffs enemies for less damage, which is, again, great to know. And I think that's something we can work with in the future. And that's something we can go quite pretty hard with. Y using Q there gives us that great chance of um, killing one and doing damage to the other, which I like to see. Uh, we're probably going to go for some bleed heals here. If we can. Um... Yeah. Set you up with some repost. Sadly, he didn't take the bait. I'm going to be taking another slap. We'll cure that bleed off of you. And probably finish you off this round. Not quite. Um, in that case, let's cauterize. Does increase his stress taken, but it's fine. Get another small heal on you there, and we'll finish you off like that. Now, the question is. Do I use a key on this, or do I wait on the off chance that we get a secret room? Because if I got a secret room and I didn't have a key to use it on, I'd be very, very upset. So, for now, I'm going to leave it, and maybe we'll come back for it. Okay, so this is the guy that's going to be dealing. There you go, Tain. Thank God we dodged that. That's the guy that's going to be a big problem for us. Uh, Joseph, if we can get you set up for um, a nice amount of uh, healing, that'd be great. I really want to set my light going a little bit higher there. Um, we can probably stun. Nah, we can't. Okay, this isn't great. Um, I'm going to try for the stun here. Yes, low chance, but we got it, and it pulled him to the front as well, which should, unfortunately, make him an easy kill, but we missed with uh, Seraph. But luckily, Hammurabi strikes again. Repurse getting an extra hit on you. We're taking a lot of bleed here. A lot of bleed. We'll, uh, we'll get people healed up here. I really shouldn't heal Hammurabi too much, considering he can heal himself. Well, let's set off a bit of blight on you. We will cauterize, I think. Should we cauterize? It's not enough damage. We'll just go for the hit. And there you go. Critical. Nice bit of stress healing there. That's what we need to see. Finish you off. You should pull to the front now. We can actually get uh, some body clears here. And we get the repurse again there with bleed as well. And we can even just do this. To get a party-wide heal. Uh, clear that bleed off of you, we might as well. And finish you off. With a 16 strike from Hammurabi. He's so damn strong. Um, we'll ditch... Oh, this is tough. We'll ditch the, um, the holy water. We'll take that. But this, I believe this gives us a good quirk. So let's let, let's go with, like, um, Hammurabi. You can have the good quirk. Ill quirk removed. Okay, good. We needed ill removed anyway. I thought it was a gain quirk. It was a remove quirk. Either way, that worked out nicely. Right, let's torch up. Carry on through. Ooh, interesting decor back there. Okay, a few extra torches is always nice. Always appreciated. Ooh, a trap, but a dodge. Look at everyone else's stress. Everyone else is fine for stress. Coming in with just 20 extra stress is so... 
It hurts. It really does. Okay, so I don't know what this is. Um, Ancestor's Relic. It has the stress symbol on it. A massive crate concerning some terrible relic from a forgotten corner of the world. Because I don't know what that is, I think it's best left... Do you know what? Let's 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 give it a small little Google. I very rarely do this, but let's give it a small little Google. Uh, darkest dungeon ancestral ancestor. There it is, ancestor's relic. Because it, it could it could well be a boss fight. Um, Oh wait, is it just um, is it just a quest objective? Search the crate, try it. Ancestor's relic. Some things are best left unopened. Okay, so we've got to make space for these, which is a pain, a real pain. Uh, so let's take that. Hmm. I haven't been using anti-venom at all. They've just been dealing bleed to me. So maybe I get rid of the anti-venom instead of that. Let's do that. Okay, so I think that's part of our quest objective, actually. Yeah, th g gather three ancestors relics. Yeah, it is. Okay, that, that was just me being a, a bit silly there. Right, uh, coming into this fight, we should be okay. I really hate to see those, but getting the surprise there is beautiful. Um... We can't really stun these guys, so let's just go for the plague on you. And we go for the plague on you. Just because it buffs our healing so much. And we go for Hugh. Big hit on the front line there. We can probably finish you off. Ooh, Seraph really has bad accuracy. Having problems with that a lot. Unfortunately, we're going to miss out on some healing here because of that. Unfortunate incident there. Thank God for the resist, Isaac. Ooh, yeah, Seraph dodging there. And resisting stun. Wow. Everyone wants Seraph right now. Our girl, Angela. She's doing bad. We'll cure that off you. There you go. Finish that one off. Um, take you out easily. We can use that for a party-wide heal. Should we need it? I'm going to try this out just in case. It did work. It does clear corpses, though. I didn't realize that. That's fine, though. She's going to die to that either way. We'll keep moving on. Ooh, nice amount of loot there. Sadly, can't take any of that with us. Okay. Nice bit of scouting here. I really hope we find a secret room. I'm holding out for it. I'm holding out for it. Um, ooh, that's a nice amount of loot. Okay, I am willing to get rid of that in order to take the rubies. Right, what's this? I think this is like a quirk removal thing. Or a stress removal. I'm going to try it out. Okay, this is the one that gives us a quirk, yeah. A extra accuracy against Blighted. That's going to really help out for this quest. I would have loved to have given that to one of these two. But that's still going to help out a lot. Uh, we've got to remember that at some point we've got to camp. Maybe when I get to here and back, I'll camp. Okay, a bunch more of these guys should be fine to deal with. Uh... Let's set up repost early. We need a bit of healing anyways. As long as we get, don't get too much stuns going on. Please resist. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, we'll just go for the blight on the back line here. Nice one, Isaac. And Hugh. Does good damage. Heals us up a little bit as well, which is lovely. That j uh, jar of slime has always been helpful every single time we're taken out with us. Oh, thank you for the resist, Hammurabi. You beast. We should be able to leave you to die now. Yeah, definitely. Um, in fact, I think we can. I think we can just do this and kill you. Yeah, I was thinking. That, I was thinking that would be the case. Uh, and we can just go for chop on you. Unfortunately, it's not armor piercing. So, yeah, he is going to get another turn. Brian could give us disease here. We did resist. Look, lucky for us. Uh, I really want to get a heal in here before the end of this. Not that heal. Lovely, lovely. And we shall go for a chop. 
Nice one. Nice to see. Carry on. Okay, we get another one of these. We don't have anything to use on that, so I'm not going to use it. Some some ones you can use without using an item. Other ones you can't. I don't want to take the risk just in case. Unfortunately, we don't have holy water here. I think this is a stress reliever. So if we could get holy water as a um, relief from this. Do we have anything that... Yeah, shuffle single. I'm going to go for this just for the shuffle. We even stunned him as well, which is great. But I wasn't even counting on that. Um, I was really just wanting to get that shuffle. Uh... Let's blight you up. Lowering that damage is also great. Hammurabi, nice dodge. Hammurabi's been getting some great dodges recently. Let's just go for the kill on you. Nice one. We do not want to be getting that chaos on us. Uh, and we'll go for a strike on you. Seraph is still... You can definitely tell she's um, less experienced. Uh, Angela really... She's, she's still finding a footing with this whole dungeon diving business. But she's getting there. Everyone else is a little more well-versed, to be honest. Uh, everyone's looking a little light here. So let's go for the, the body. And get everyone a little bit of a heal instead. Uh, we might be able to get a double. Ah, oh, no. Sadly not. I always forget that when it goes back line like that, you have to be the back two, even if the back two are right there. If you know what I mean. Probably not making any sense here. Go for the chop on you. He does have the, the prop, the protection. So he's uh, he been able to stay alive quite easily through this barrage, but nonetheless should be okay. Uh, let's just stun him out of it for now. Nice one. Stops him from doing any moves anyways uh go for a heal on angela here joseph taking a stab it's okay he's a little low he's a little low but should be able to finish you off nice one nice one uh yeah i think i think we can just heal ourselves next turn um go for the chop oh that's a big crit very nice very nice Love to see that. We might be able to get another cop, uh, another corpse kill, actually. Ooh, that is a really big hit on you there, actually. Wasn't expecting that. That's uh, a little bit of a shame there. We can take all of this. Bandages. It's going to cure you. Lovely. Um, but do they only stack up to five? Unfortunate. Jade's only stack up to five. Um, right, I'm not sure what to do here, then. I think I'll just leave it for now. Sadly, we don't have anything to do with this, and I don't want to touch it otherwise. Nice bit of scouting up here. We do have a battle up there. I think we have to go for it and do our uh, do our camping after that, but I, would, I was really hoping this would be an empty room. Hey, another one of these. Do we have any? We don't have the curio for this, do we? That's a shame. That's a shame. We can maybe get it on the way back. There's a chance we get a Curie out of this if we, if we see one we're to take it. 90% on you. Nice one, Joseph. Let's head in here. Hope we don't get too screwed on the first turn here. Nice surprise. It's going to be big for us. Get some healing going on. Um, I'm going to just stun and move you. Damn, he resisted both. Really not what I wanted. Go for Q on there. A little bit of healing. Finish you off. Nice one, Angela. A little bit of stress healing is always nice too. Okay, you're getting guarded, which is bad for us. We've got the stress wave coming in now. As long as you don't target, target Angela, I think we should be okay. Pushing you to the front, you think that's a good thing, don't you? You think that's a good thing, don't you? Uh, let's move you up front. Destroy that corpse. Lovely. Just going to try and take out the guy that's protecting him right now. Go for him. We're going to get another stress wave coming in soon. Um, yeah, we're going to have to keep going with this. Oh, crit there is beautiful. We needed that so bad. Ooh, nice dodge. Hmm. You don't have stun, resist. Let's just stun you again. Pull you to the front. Make you an easy target. Heal up ourself. We've not been, really been able to get the blight going with uh, Joseph this time round, but that's fine. Take you out. Blow down. That's a pretty big hit. And that's another big hit. That's almost a death's, uh, death's door right there. But we should be fine. I should have gone for the group heal, to be honest, there. Would have made more sense. Wow, he does a lot of damage. Uh, how much stun resist? He doesn't have much stun resist. Let's go for a stun on him. Stop him from being such a nuisance. Get healed. This battle has been not great. 
Ah, that barrier. Really screwing us. I mean, we can stun him out of it. So that's not so bad. Yes, it worked. It worked. Yeah, okay, keep on with this. We should be able to kill you in the next turn. Stun on both of those allows us to do a lot more. They've both got stun resist, but I'm going to try it anyways. Damn, my healing is not good today. Really should have just gone for the back line there. If he gets another hit on one of our one of our guys here, let's go with Hugh. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and we get this as well. Um, so we probably want that. Uh, I don't think we can give anything away for it, though. That's the problem. We've got so much good stuff right now. Um, virtual immunity to the plague. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure if we can uh, if we can take that. Because you've got to think that we've got two more of these to get throughout this mission. Which means Torch is going to have to go. And Firewood is going to have to go. And maybe the Skeleton Key. As much as I love this and I want this, I think we have to leave it. I don't think we have space for it. We need everything else too badly. Um, Like, yeah, we can't. Sorry. It's, it's so good, but we'll have to leave it. Right, we'll head back. You're not going to die here, are you? Let's, let's feed you a little bit. Just in case. Make our way back. But yeah, we are absolutely full to the brim on loot today. Absolutely full to the brim. Right, once we get back here. We can camp up, I think. Actually, no, let's go to the next room. Because we've uh, scouted that out. So we can make it over there. Without any problems. Got a food check there. We've got plenty of food left there. I think. Right. Let's camp up. Yeah, eight food. It's great healing there. Right, so does, does anyone else have a... Have a prevent nighttime ambush? One companion. Does anyone have diseases? I don't think anyone has diseases in this party, to be honest. I think we're pretty good on that front. Yeah, we are. Okay, so let's go with... Let's go with that. People are going to take some stress because of that. So let's go with... Let's just go with stress reduction on you for, for the rest of this. Um. Ooh, damn. So for 20% HP damage, all companions... But we don't need it on all companions, that's the thing. Um, do we even have reduce? We don't even have reduced stress. That's the thing. I was like, oh yeah, let's do some reduced stress. Let's just do this one then. Get that going. Um, let's get fifty percent chance to gain extra stress. I don't want the extra stress really. Let's just go for the heal on you. And last one will reduce the amount of stress you're taking. Not the greatest in the world. But it will do. And let's go and find our last boxes. We've got two left and only three rooms. So they've got to be coming up soon. We don't know what's coming up though. So we'll probably have some combat here. We found our first one right, right there. So we can take this scot-free. Just grab it. Next one, we're probably going to have to take uh, over the torches. Which is a bit scary. Okay. Shaman not giving stress straight away is great. Stressful incarnation and a dodge. Okay, that's brilliant. We'll go for the double stun on the stress healers. Unfortunately, one of them did dodge. Which isn't great. Um, we can kill this guy in one hit. Let's go for the kill. And let's, instead of going for the healing, let's get the blight set up. And get the healing bettered for later. I don't know why I struck the body there. That was a mistake. Shouldn't impact us too much, but that was definitely a mistake. We'll set up Blight on you as well. Um, that push is going to be a pain. It's not terrible, but I don't think she can do much from back there. Uh, let's go for the stun on both of you. One did resist, the other didn't. Good, good. 
Shop you down. Ooh, a crit there is beautiful, killing him in one hit. That's exactly what we want to see. We can go for a bunch of healing here. Okay, so we can do this from here, which is nice. Nice amount of damage. Ooh, he is going to get one stress wave out. This is a shame, but at least we got the stun the other guy. And we can probably just blight you to death. Yeah, good, good. Uh, let's go for the healing here. Eight healing. You see, if you just do a few attacks, it gets really powerful. And you should be dead to blight, pretty much. Oh, a big crit there from Ham Hammurabi. Big, big crit. Lovely. Citrine only stacks up to five. I swear, I swear that my... I have a mod that makes them stack up higher. And... The mod that increases their price is overriding it, maybe? Because they definitely should stack higher than that. Which is not its not a huge problem, to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll leave that for now. I'm still keeping the key, just in case. It could happen. Let's make sure we reorder our party here. And this should, this should probably be it, the curio in here. Should probably be the one we need. Yes, it is indeed. And the scouting. Didn't get it. But we will indeed take this over that. And there you go. Mission complete. Let's return to the hamlet. Went pretty well. Our uh, our Seraph Angela did take a little more stress than expected. But we earned a pretty penny off of that. We earned 13,000 plus the 4,500 there. And we also got a trinket for extra healing skill. Which is going to come in a big handy. A big handy? It's going to come in handy later on. Um, extra chance to there. Okay, Rotten's not great. But everything else is pretty decent. I'm, I'm happy with all of that. Into the hamlet we go. This has been a really, really good episode today. Um, free weapon upgrade times one. Interesting. So does that mean we just come in here and put whoever we want in there for weapon upgrades? So who's, who's level one but not got level two gear? Jonathan. Might as well do this on both of you. I mean, that wasn't exactly the, the, the best thing in the world, but not terrible either. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit of skill upgrading on these guys as well. I really like the skill she had, actually. Um, although, activating her a purse is great. Only valid below 33% HP, though. Guard ally, uh, self increase. Interesting. I'll probably go with that over, over this. That sounds pretty good. Jonathan can get increases on these. And I'm also going to give him Reclaim and Redeem. And probably use him mostly like that. Both of those sound really good. And uh, there is probably some other people in here that need some, uh, need some skills doing. We'll, we'll just go and check through them really quickly now and make sure we don't have any people that are Missing out too much. Because we don't want people that are too far behind the ball. Sort of thing. We, th we did this the other day. So it shouldn't be too far off. But we have a lot of money now. So we should be able to get a bit going with that. We just we just upgraded his heal. We can upgrade everything else now. Eon's looking good. We've got to remember a few people we brought in at max. Uh, at like level 1. So they've already got their skills upgraded. I think that's part of one of the mods we have, but yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, Leo's looking good too. We'll do that. Slight bit of extra stress healing. We've just been upgraded. Everything else here is looking really good. Do you have a repost we can get? Yeah, you've got a repost already on. Okay, that's fine. Um, interesting. We could go with Drain the Masses. Which is pretty good. I think I think I'll go with that over over what we've got on right now. It's interesting. Uh, Hamurabi, how are you doing? Skills are looking good. Definitely upgrade that as well. I think everything everyone's looking really good to be honest. I think we've got everything upgraded on the people we need it upgraded on. Yeah, everyone's looking great. We've got our new members. We've still got a lot of money left over to put into things. Let's see if we're going to bring on anyone else in. Great, so we get a shield breaker, level 1, uh, rather than level 0. So let's just throw away the shield breaker real quick. Um, and we also get a jester level 1. Great. 
So we're taking them two. The Shield Breaker. We already have four coming in. But I really do want to bring in a Hollow Knight as well. Um, the Hollow Knight is really, really fun. Uh, yeah. Let's let's bring in the Hollow Knight as well. That's a lot to bring in in one week. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to limit myself in future. But we've got five new people we've brought in here. Five new people, so... They will be very interesting to uh, to go over in the future. But we do have one last thing to cover. One last thing to cover. If we go over to here to embark. First of all, let's take our trinkets off so we don't forget. It's a very important part of the process here. Great. Okay. But we actually have the farmstead, which is the Colors of Madness DLC. And we have a diary entry from Artemis, who says... Um, uh, this is by DB fan, by the way. Artemis hissed at, as another spell failed yet again. Having witnessed the necromancer's dark craft, she tried um, to she tried it for herself into the dead of night. After weeks of practicing, she can't even raise a simple zombie. After she can master debt, boom! Artemis' thoughts were cut off by a loud bang that shook the hamlet. Looking to where the sound came from, Artemis gasped as one of the unimportant meals had been struck by a comet, and seemingly instantly beautiful crystals grew all over the mill. Chrysalis, she wanted them, but something stopped her. A heavy, otherworldly, extremely dangerous atmosphere came from the mill, and that is just going to be setting us up for getting into the Colors of Madness DLC. This one, again, DB fan did actually try to um, gift me. Very big thank you to you again, uh, but unfortunately there was some issue with it, so I, I ended up just buying it myself anyways because I, I thought it, it sounded really good. Uh, but yes, that's going to be really, really interesting to get into. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's going to—it's been a little bit of a longer one today, and we've done a little bit more, but we've managed to make ourselves a bit of money, and uh, we can get into doing some upgrades in the next episode. Please do let me know what you want me to start upgrading and everything, and uh, leave all your diary entries and such for the next episode. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.